Americans have seen weight loss drugs skyrocket to success. Now the GLP-1 frenzy could be headed to a new frontier, your pets. According to the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention, 61% of cats classify as overweight or even obese. But cutting back on crunchies might not be the only solution. A biopharmaceutical company in San Francisco says it's conducting a pilot study of a GLP-1 drug for cats with obesity. Let's bring in Michael Klotzman, the CEO of Okava. Met, um, of Okava. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. We have some pet owners in our newsroom with some very, shall we say, curvy kitties at home. We love them all, big or small, it doesn't matter. We do have some pictures, but on a serious note, obesity in pets is a growing problem and can come with serious health risks. Do we know why pets, frankly, are getting a little pudgier these days? Uh, that's a great question. Um, the story is very similar to what we have with people. Um, as we know, dogs and cats share the same environments that we share. Mm -hmm. And in today's world, we have j just an abundance of high quality specialty prescription based diet food for both dogs and cats. Um, even though we have wonderful food options and offerings for pets, uh, the pet obesity epidemic is actually just that it's an epidemic. Um, and as you said, th these are major health care concerns. It leads to feline diabetes. It leads mm. to excessive joint pain. Um, and ultimately, it leads to shorter lifespans. Um, so while we potentially can control food intake, uh, th that's much easier said than done, especially in multi-cat households where you often have open feeding for your feline friends at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and invariably, we hear that you have one cat, you'll have Miss Piggy that oh, will always eat more than their fair share in, mm -hmm. in the shared household. Um, and that's one of the major challenges that we constantly hear with weight management uh, for the feline population. Yeah, and a lot of kitties, I'm sure more pet owners are keeping their kit cats inside for their safety, but they're also not getting the exercise mm -hmm. outside that they probably need a little bit more of. So how exactly does this weight loss drug for cats work? This Ozempic for kitties, so to speak. Yeah, we affectionately call it Pozempic. Um, <laughs> it is an approved uh, GLP-1. So we are piggybacking again off of decades of uh, well-established clinical research and people. Um, our technology is what we call a nanoportal. Um, it's a small titanium tube that's put into the cat. It's identical to the procedure you would have for microchips. Mm -hmm. um, and the reservoir itself, the magic here is that the reservoir itself contains six months of drug. So again, we know GLP-1s have the same biological effect as they do in dogs and cat and in, in people. Uh, the real major problem that we're solving is administration. Um, most pet owners do not want to inject their cats um, on a weekly basis with a needle. And what you're looking at on the screen here, uh, this image was taken in a cat that was implanted with our device. Um, and you could see that it's incredibly well tolerated. There's no redness, there's no itching, there's no swelling. Um, so it's a wonderful solution. The cats don't even know it's there. So how long is this trial process? I mean, when could we start seeing these pet Zempic prescriptions available to all veterinarians? A a absolutely great question. Uh, we are absolutely committed, first and foremost, to establishing a high quality and well-established uh, safety and efficacy database. Uh, the MIA one study, which we publicly announced uh, just yesterday, uh, is an initial pilot study, which will inform the full, what we call registration study that will ultimately be submitted to the FDA. We anticipate completing the registration work in the 27, 28 timelines mm -hmm. uh, with commercial availability to pet owners shortly after. So, so we're a couple of years out. And again, that's really dictated by FDA requirements and Okava's commitment to uh, establishing 
uh, safety and efficacy in well-established uh, randomized clinical trials. Now we have a little less than a minute left in show, but I'm curious because a lot of these GLP-1s have different side effects in different people. I'm curious if you've seen the similar impacts in cats where sometimes it impacts kitties differently. Yep. Uh, the short answer is no. We believe that there's a species difference. Mm -hmm. um, we have quite a bit of unpublished data originally done in dogs for the approvals of the GLP-1s that are currently on the market. In those preclinical studies, dogs did not have issues, and we don't see issues with cats around nausea or vomiting either. That is great news. Michael Klotzman, thank you so much.